Hey guys, what's up? My name's Hunter, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to make your blog on Go High Level for auto detailing. I, this can be applied to any other industry out there, so lawn care, photography, dentists, anything that you have for your local area that you're trying to grow with, by using a blog on Go High Level. Uh, I'll be able to show you how to do in today's video, so let's get into it. You should have Go High Level if you don't already. Link's going to be down in the description below my affiliate link. Meanwhile, automatically goes to funnels. You can see my leads for local funnel. Uh, we'll go to sites. Or actually, what we're going to go to is blogs right here. So click on blogs. So the blog feature is basically to improve your SEO keywords on Google Search Console on Google to get your website. Um, looking at different keywords and internal backlinking, uh, alt text, all that stuff to increase your SEO. The more pages you put on your blog, the more page or the more traction you're gonna get on your website. And then you can see that all on Google Search Console. But if we go here, total blog post. So the higher the number you can make your blog post, the better your website's gonna do. Are you serious? Okay, so I have a little Google Search Console here kind of shows you my website traffic. Um, so basically, uh, you would have your Google Search Console in here. You would uh, upload your sitemap every time you added a page to your Go High Level blog. Okay, so that way Google can see the blog post that you just put on your website. So just make sure you put your sitemap to Google Search Console every time you upload a post on your blog. And then the higher the number of posts you can have on your website, is going to be the more traction you're going to obtain okay so you just want to relate keywords to help people on google uh, that are searching for those keywords you can actually use a ai tool to write all your blog posts so what? you can proofread all the blogs but the ai tool is going to write most of your pages okay so that's actually a really really cool feature because you don't have to spend time to write the whole blog post and spend like two or three hours on one blog post. Because usually what people do is they'll upload like five blog posts a day um, instead of just like one blog, one blog post a week because AI is writing all of that information. And if you just do that, your website's definitely gonna like blow up and get more clicks and more impressions and all that i'm not a google seo export expert but i just know that the more keywords you have that are relevant to your industry like auto detailing you know the more google's gonna promote you and it goes for your gmb google my business as well and then published blog sites so you should only have one of these because usually you just have one Visitors per week, uh, we don't really care about that because we can see everything in Google Search Console, but it's kind of cool to see visitors per week. Um, I guess visitors per week, they're meaning like how many people click on your blog. I guess that's what that number is. Um, so you have your default blog site and just click that. Now I have, these are all the posts you can make. So you'd click new blog post every time you make a blog. And that's mainly how you're going to do it. So you can edit your blog site. Um, this I clicked on the uh, down tab, so you can edit the uh, blog site. And this blog site should be on your main website. So whatever URL you use for your blog, um, that would be what you have on your website. Um, and then you can actually edit in a new tab. So you can edit all of your blog like stuff on your page for your blog page you can edit it right here so all this stuff is going to be here I haven't connected a domain to this blog but um, this is the blog homepage and you can edit it how you want okay uh, those are some other tools I'll show you later uh, so if we just click we have settings so you're going to have your your domain and you're going to have your so I haven't picked the domain yet but you can just pick your domain, pick your slug on here which is the 
the slash like sub name blog meta description you want to fill this out okay so google sees this the favicon upload this is the little picture that you see right here you know that is showing on the tab the the head tracking code body tracking code just leave it alone for right now okay chat widget i do recommend to put that on there but if your website already has it then you don't have to do it twice okay gdpr complaints font all pages of the funnel use gdpr complaints font instead of google fonts i just recommend using google fonts and uh there's a lot of good fonts out there for that but if you want to try this you can and you click save blog title yep you want to make sure you change that so this is this video is really just about putting your blog on google and just showing you guys how to get your blog on your website and then on the website table of contents on the header part there of your website you would copy the url that you connected your blog to and then you would just put this um, as a link when people click on the blog button on that header on your website and then they would see that page that i showed you edit a new tab and they'd see all your blog posts so boom Ooh. bam oh. bop bada bop boom pow oh! that's that's how it works and then so i create a couple blog posts here i'll just click on the first one so you just create your blog post and then basically you guys can edit these pages how you want to and it's i recommend using another tool that creates it by ai copy it into here make sure all the headers and all that stuff is all correct before you copy it and then you know you can have all your keywords in here so this video isn't about keywords, it's not about using Google Search Console, it's just about how to put your blog on, you know, your go high level, you know. So let me show you guys the AI tool I use though to create my blog so you guys can have it. I use, uh, sometimes I use Toolsurf to buy tools that I need because it's uh, this isn't even an affiliate promotion, it's just like you guys can buy group Toolsurf using this website and uh, I'm not sure if it's like legally correct to do this, but FBI, open up! it's just a website I found and you can group buy stuff. So, you know, it saves you some money. I recommend using the SEMrush AI tool or you can use the, the phrase.io or yep, phrase.io AI tool. This one actually, I prefer to use this one, but the SEMrush one works out as well. So if you're having a trouble of which one to use, it doesn't matter which one you use as long as you're having the, the correct keywords and the correct alt text in your stuff. So that's the Google Search Console. Every time you make a blog page, you will upload your sitemap. This video isn't about that, but that's what you need to do. Um, so create the AI tool using the thing. And then on your blog, you would just go ahead and copy it all in here. Um, if you're on like an actual PC, I'm just on my iPad. But you would put your blog stuff into here and auto detailing. So your blog post should all be like the keywords that you have for your niche. So if you're auto detailing, like auto detailing near me, it should be one of these headlines. And then you only have one H1 head heading, so you're gonna have like like auto detailing blogs all related around certain keywords, and then you would people searching for those keywords on Google will find you, and then that's how you figure out what blog post you're gonna create. Easy way to figure this out, guys, is to look at someone else's blog post that does this on auto detailing. You're going to have to go on Google and try to find someone that does this. And if they do it, you can just copy their topics and kind of take some of their keywords that they have. And that's going to really help you guys um, figure out what you're going to post on your blog. Uh, you can use the SEMrush tool also. Um, that's a whole nother video. But you can use that to figure out what you're going to post on your blog. But basically, this is just going to increase the SEO traffic and increase your number of clicks and impressions on your website and that's a really good thing for your business because that's organic leads you don't have to pay for that traffic at all 
So that's exactly what you guys want to do. Uh, so let's just go back here. Just a brief overcap co conclusion for this. So you go on sites, you click on blog, you edit all the settings in here. Make sure you connect it to your domain, put the, the slug and then put that also on your website. Uh, so you'd go to websites up top here and then you would um, edit your website, okay? And then you just, there's, there's a way to hyperlink the text on the heading and you would just hyperlink the text. When you click on the text, it brings you to your blog webpage, okay? So once you're done creating your blog post, I recommend just doing whatever is comfortable for you. So if you can only make one blog post or one blog page per per week or per day. No, God, please, no, no, no. And that's what you want to do. Just make sure you're consistent on making your blog post. Uh, you really just want to stick to a schedule where you're consistent on making your blog post. But other than that, you create your blog and then you get your, if you go to settings and domains, you can get your sitemap uh, for your website. Once you get your sitemap, go to here, go to sitemaps, and you're going to upload your sitemap. Uh, and then you can see your, your website uh, traffic go higher and higher and higher. And then it gets really, really high, like that high point there. I don't have this website anymore, so now this is going down but you can see it gets higher and higher and higher. And that's basically how you do it, guys. That's a whole conclusion. Make sure you're using the right keywords. Make sure you're uploading the sitemap. Make sure you have Google Search Console. Make sure you're using the AI tool. If you do all that correctly, uh, you should get good results with this. So I just wanted to make this intro video. And if you guys are still watching the video, I'm gonna talk about the channel a little bit. So if you're done with the video, feel free to get out of the video but I just want to say I haven't done a video in a very long time so uh, definitely getting back into it guys gonna be more active on the channel I just want to say and uh, I'm looking forward to making some more videos like this a lot of my content is gonna be probably revolving around go high level Facebook ads for auto detailing lawn care local businesses so the same stuff I've been doing uh, just a whole lot better as you see I got a brand new setup and everything and it's going pretty good so that's just what I'm doing for the channel just want to throw that out there before I end the video but anyways guys I will catch you on the next video I think I covered everything for the blog um, yeah I covered pretty much everything you just have to make sure you're consistent with your blog and uh, is if you track it on Google Search Console, you can see the progress that you make. So it's going to take two, three, four months to see any progress because this is Google is always a long term strategy. So just know that when you're making your thing, it's not a one and done type thing or it's not real quick results. It's, it's actually pretty slow. But uh, if you do this and also have your GMB profile connected to your blog and your website at the same time, definitely will help you in the long run and definitely will help you rank the top result search results for your city for your niche okay so without further ado i will catch you guys on the next video